Hey, welcome back. And then today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this sorted blur rotoscope transition in After Effects. Starting off, I already have my clip right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually start rotoscoping him out. So I'm going to go over here. And that's why I just want to rotoscope his body out. So let's get to it. I'm going to press freeze on a rotoscope and it's going to start freezing our actual rotoscope. So I'm going to go ahead and let it freeze. So once after we're done letting it actual freeze, it should look like this now. So now we have them cut out and I'm actually going to go over here to our feather and bring up our feather all the way up. And you can even go to your shift edge and bring it down. I have it something like this and this looks pretty clean. So I'm going to duplicate our rotoscoped uh, clip right here. Go to the bottom and I'm going to get rid of it. So now I'm going to add another effect. And I'm going to add directional blur onto our rotoscope effect. Not a rotoscope effect, but a rotoscope uh, clip. So what I'm going to do is bring up our, our blur length right here. And we get something like this. It's a clean, blurred out uh, rotoscope effect. You can go ahead and just increase your blur length. Obviously, you can see right here how it's not really like the best. It looks kind of weird. So there's multiple ways you can do it. You can either bring up our feather or bring down your shift edge. So yeah, once you get something like this, I'm going to make an adjustment layer. And then the first effect I'm going to add, it's going to be turbulent displace. Go right to our size and put on 15. Go to the beginning of our clip and put our amount right here at 850. And I'm going to go ahead and put our actual displacement on a uh, horizontal displacement. Let me get something like this. So I'm going to go right to our amount and create our first keyframe. Then go right to 19F and put it down to zero. And actually shout out to Nautic One for the actual effect idea right here with this turbulent displacement transition effect in the beginning. So once we're done making our two keyframes, just go ahead and highlight and easy ease it. Go to our graph editor and I'm going to make a simple graph where it comes in fast. So it's something like this. Get, some, get something clean like this. Let me see. Maybe it's something like that. So I'm going to close out our effect settings. Then for the next effect, I'm going to add S underscore hotspots. And I'm going to go ahead and go to our threshold and just bring it up a bit right here. And just simply like that, it already affects our footage. And let's say you don't have S underscore hotspots. You can also add curves. So let me go ahead and add that as well. I totally didn't freaking misspell it. Turn that off and you can even kind of get the same effect. It's just mainly you have to like mess around with it. So go and mess around with it. But I'm gonna use S underscore hotspots. It's much more easier. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add noise. Drag in our noise. So it's gonna be the regular base noise from After Effects and turn off our color noise. And I'm gonna put our noise amount to 24. And it helps give our effect a nice textured look. So I'm gonna close this out right here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add exposure. And we're gonna create this nice black flickering effect. And we're going to loop it throughout the whole clip. So I'm going to go over here and create our first keyframe. Open up a timeline and we're going to go over here. So right here is our next frame and we're going to skip it and go one over. And we're going to put it to a negative uh, two. So put on negative two. Highlight both keyframes. Easy as it. I'm going to copy it. Skip another keyframe. And just like that, you want to go ahead and repeat this. So I'm going to copy this one, skip a frame, go over. And just like that, we get this nice black flickering effect. So you don't really have to use S underscore flicker. So yeah, once after that, you get this really clean effect you can use on your next edit and music video. You have this nice grainy footage with the noise, the black flickers going on, and they have this actual rotoscope effect where he's blurred out and i can even go over here and just bring up a blur amount on actual rotoscope so it looks even more cooler and i'm gonna make an adjustment layer oh whoops it's going over here make an adjustment layer go to the beginning of our clip go 
go to my animation presets go to my user presets i'm gonna use one of my presets from my grinch anarchy pack i'm gonna go right to my grinch essentials i'm gonna use the bloody grit preset and i'm actually gonna close this out and go to my tritone effect and i'm gonna change the color because i don't really like how this red looks so i'm gonna change it to like a blue i'm gonna go like right over here i don't want it too light but i want some like blue light color going on and yeah just like that our effect even looks much better and yeah just by adding the actual preset our effect even looks way much better so if you're wondering what this pack actually does it comes with 40 customizable presets that help you save time editing while making your edits or music videos stand out so if you like how this effect looks like i'm going to go ahead and show you a couple more so i'm going to go ahead and just highlight these right here get rid of it i'm going to use four color noise transition and even like with this one it's one of my favorite effects it's very unique so i'm gonna go ahead and let it play sometimes it lags out but we get something like this and it's customizable you can even change the color so i can change it to blue right here and let's say right here while you're playing it you don't really like the actual position of the blue you can even move it so i can move it like right here and i'm going to use the white phosphorus crt effect it just completely transforms your footage it doesn't make it look like loki ass and just makes it stand out so if you like how these effects look like check out the first link in the description below it's going to be the link to the actual pack and make sure to use code yt5 to save five dollars off at checkout so um hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did like subscribe or even leave a comment where you guys want to see next i'll see you guys in the next video peace out